Hi guys, Killer J here, and today I'm going to talk about CM Punk. He lost to Mickey Gale at the UFC fight, and CM Punk was there, trained for two years in the in the octagon, and he got destroyed by Mickey Gale. Mickey Gale, a younger guy, CM Punk in his like 40s almost there, but so you know, basically, if C that was just freaking wait all this time for CM Punk after he left WWE in the Royal Rumble 2014. Wait two years for him to make his debut in the Octagon and just, wow, he freaking lost. He lost to a freaking Mickey Gale. I don't even know who, but he lost and he got destroyed. Yeah, you can see my uh, Sonic, uh, that controller in the background and much other stuff in the background. My uh, b water bottle and other, other stuff there, cream and that there, but it's for eczema and stuff like that, so. Anyway, that's kind of off topic, so, okay, so, okay, so, I'm going to talk about the, the fight. The fight lasted two minutes, CM Punk got destroyed by this, by this Mickey Gale guy, and CM Punk actually came out with his Cult of Personality song, which was a surprise there, but he, he got, he just got dropped out, and there were rumors of him fighting Jason David Frank from Power Rangers, Tommy. He's going to lose, if he fought, ever fought Jason David Frank, he would lose. The Jason David Frank, say what you want, but... The guy has martial art experience, and I'm pretty sure Jason David Frank has competed in MMA, so he has more of a, an edge over CM Punk. CM Punk, he just, as soon as he got in there, freaking Mickey Gale took him down and he had him onto the goddamn ground. And he tapped out CM Punk. He didn't want to go to sleep, he just tapped out. That's what, what it was. And that was that was the match. But, but on to the Jason David Frank thing, he was going to fight Jason David Frank, and rumored and wanted to fight, but CM Punk was, if CM Punk ever fought him, he would get destroyed, he would freaking, he would be freaking, end up like freaking, uh, like a jobber, you know, Punk, I think he should go, if he, if he shouldn't, if he does, if he doesn't want to go to WWE, that's understandable, he can go some other wrestling promotion like New Japan or ROH or Lucha Underground or somewhere else, but him and the, him and UFC, Fuck, it wasn't, it was fucking like watching, uh, like watching a friggin' machine there. What do you call it there? It's watching someone like getting friggin' beat down really bad. That's what it was. CM Punk got beat down in two minutes there. That was what it was. And pretty much CM Punk lost that match, in which his debut was friggin' not really a good debut. It was like probably one of the worst or debuts in UFC history. Wouldn't be surprised, so. And Dana White said he didn't want, shouldn't want, CM Punk shouldn't compete in in, in UFC period, but it is what it is. CM Punk friggin' lost to Mickey Gale and got destroyed and just got annihilated in that there. Freak. So, anyway, he's not, CM Punk is not on the level of Brock Lesnar caliber when it comes to the Octagon. CM Punk is more, he got more, he's, CM Punk's more, a little bit more muscled there, but he lost. The friggin' Mickey Gale and he got destroyed, so that's pretty much what I have to say there, and uh, see you guys later. Bye.